If you're a fan of musical theater, you owe it to yourself to see Forbidden Broadway at least once. You can do so this weekend at the Playhouse at Westport Plaza. Its intimate space is an ideal venue for seeing Forbidden Broadway, the long-running cabaret-style review that sends up musical theater. The tunes you hear are from Broadway shows and movie musicals. The words have been changed to condemn the guilty. The show opened off-Broadway in 1982 and has been kept current with many revisions by Gerard, Gerard Alessandrini, who conceived, wrote, and directed the original production. He and choreographer Philip George directed the current tour. They had a ton of material to choose from. Wikipedia lists 21 different versions of the show and 13 cast recordings. What we see at the Westport are takeoffs on some of the best known musicals, such as Phantom and Fiddler, but also some recent ones, such as Once and Billy Elliot. But don't worry if you haven't seen everything. The humor usually works on its own, especially in the number satirizing Aspects of Love, one of Andrew Lloyd, Lloyd Webber's least successful shows. You will get all the jokes in I Sleep With Everyone, even if you don't know it's based on a song called Love Changes Everything. In, its, in all its incarnations, Forbidden Broadway has a cast of two men, two women, and a pianist. At Westport, the supremely versatile performers are Valerie Fagan, Kevin B. McClinn, Jean Montano and William Selby, accompanied by musical director Catherine Stornetta. All but Stornetta sport an impressive array of costumes by Alvin Colt and wigs by Carol, Carol Sherry. Fagan and McGlynn get the proceedings underway with the ventriloquist act from Chicago. The lyrics mock all the cost-saving measures of the minimalist revival that is now the second longest running show in Broadway history. Montano then caricatures the mannerisms of B.B. Newworth, a star of the revival. Montano is then joined by the men for an exaggerated version of Bob Fosse's choreography, which doesn't leave much room for more exaggeration. These three return to spoof the dancing and singing style of the Jersey Boys in Walk Like a Man, Sing Like a Girl. Fagan, Montano, and McGlynn impersonate the juvenile leads of Annie, Billy Elliot, and Matilda in a number in which all three are terrorized by Selby's Miss Trunchbull from Matilda and all make fun of the idiosyncratic style of once. In one of my favorite parodies, One Day More from the endlessly returning Les Mis is transformed into One Tour More. I wouldn't mind one more tour of Forbidden Broadway. Yeah, it really is maintained very well and is delightful, and we got to listen to some of the music now. Why? 